Hi guys, it's Candace. Welcome back. Okay, so I'm calling this O Snap. I need a card. Oh snap, all I have is scraps. So we still have some scraps, but I need a couple of cards. So I pulled out this is my old I know you can't even see it because my phone's so close, but it's a three divider thing I've had for forever and I, when I used to do cards you know I'd have my inserts and my backers and just when I'd have some extra cards stock cut and scraps I'd trim them down into my cards and then I would just you know cut card and put them in the back for you know when I used to make all those cards I made <laughs> so anyway we're gonna pull from from here and use some cardstock and we're going to make A2 which is your standard card um, the envelopes three, four and three, 4.3 inches by 5.75 and your standard A2 card is four and a quarter by five and a half because that's taking an eight and a half by eleven cutting it in half folding it and that's that's what you get so let me put this I know Good thing I cleaned because can't see my floor again. Hi, 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 hi. Let me put this down here so we can grab from it. And I have, let me put my, my envelopes up. No, I'll probably never find them again because I am going to use these because they have green on the inside and that's, you know, Christmassy. So um, I have this little stack. I know I'm setting that over there. Like I said, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and cut, even though I have some over there, I'm going to go ahead and cut, let's see, do I have, got a couple, of, well, we'll just use these, because these are like 65 pound, um, the card stock that you get, like recollections or stuff, so I'm going to go cut them real quick, I'm going to cut them in half, and then um, I will be right back with them to hold your horses. Oh, and don't forget. I know. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I know. I'm hoping I didn't mess my phone up too bad, my camera, because I went to move it up and, well, it went everywhere. So I hope I don't have to, like, rotate this thing. So also, I forgot to tell you, um, this is some 20-pound copy paper and I just cut it down by shoot <laughs> five and a quarter by eight and a quarter because that's going to be our inserts for our card because you know, like when you get a card there's always that little piece of paper on the inside so um, let me just I know I should have folded them all but let me just go ahead and fold them in half so they are ready and if you're, you know, if you're like, oh my gosh, it's raining there. No, it's, um, my weather channel. <laughs> One of my weather channels. I decided I wanted to hear some rain. I did have it on some nice winter blizzard, but for some reason it, uh, decided to just go away. So I said, fine, be that way. Oh, I don't know. This is a little thicker paper. This might've been a mix up. This feels like maybe it's a 24 pounder. But it is a little thicker and it's not it's not too so anyway well that's just what was in there sometimes when when John uses my printer he doesn't put the copy paper back in the right spot he just puts the other ones on the very top and then they get all mixed up and so well anyway that's how it goes <clears throat> I try to keep mine separated that's why they're they have their original wrappers on there. So you just put them back where they came from. All right, yeah, that's definitely a, a 24 pounder there. All right, so let me just do these. I don't know how many we're gonna do. So I just grabbed, oh, I think five pieces of paper or maybe six and cut them in half. So obviously I'm gonna have to make, <clears throat> well, I can put these back in my little insert in my greeting card thing. Come on now. It with me <laughs> it's not supposed to be that difficult to fold a paper a piece of paper in half is it but I'm, I'm having those problems okay so I got those <clears throat> done and they're we'll just put them on the side for now 
All right, and then um, same thing with these cards. We're just going to take, if you want, you can score them. Um, but, you know, they're, it's pretty easy to just bend them, especially on the 65 pound. Now, when you get the 110 pound, you know, they're a little tougher. <clears throat> so you might want to score them. But, you know, if you feel comfortable and just folding them over and give them a good crease at the corner. And then see, like I said, then we're going to put this on the inside so that we have our, our, our fancy snazzy little extra paper that they have when you get cards. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why they charge $9 a card. Oh, let's see. I know, and I got cream because, you know, a lot of our stuff is still in the the cream and browns, neutral colors. But boy, I've got some, I got some um, bold backings over there. Oh, I'm going to have to take my vest off. I know, and then some of your papers just have like a little texture on it. So just how they press the grains together, I guess. And I pulled out a bunch of my stamps that just have like one word sentiments on there so we can make a little sentiment to go on front. And then this is just some white, it's like white linen. I mean, as you can tell, you can kind of see through it, but it's, it's thick, but it's just has some really pretty texture to it. Just in case I need some whites. <clears throat> Alright, I know I should have folded all these and just had them ready to go, but wasn't thinking. Alright, so now. And then with your card, oh, well, let me fold one more before I start in there. You know, with your cards, you know, you got options. And I guess it depends on what your design is too. Well, we could do both because you can make a traditional one this way or you can do a top top one that way. <clears throat> so we have our little bases, our card bases. We have our inserts back there. Whew. And then these are the scraps, the leftovers we had from that one paper. So and I had, I know, you're like, ooh, black. Well, you know, all of our stuff had, you know, has got all that colors to it. So let's see, who's going to go best with this? We have cream and brown. I know we're going to have to trim it, but I'm just kind of looking. And you don't have to do matting. And, um, but I think I like that one. I think the cream's too cream on here. So we're going to go with this one. So we'll make one long ways and one short ways, I think. <clears throat> I don't know. Does this go for a short way? Yeah, it can. Okay. So let's, let's do that one first. So as you can tell, these are scraps. So I'm just working with the scraps that I have. Um, these are, I always go the wrong way, are five and a quarter by four, which, you know, if you put it on your, your card, you're going to have a one-eighth of an inch border on there. So, since um, I'm going to need to cut over here so I can still have my one-eighth of an inch border around here, so it looks like I need to cut this at... five because we're just going in a quarter of an inch so we have an eighth inch around if that makes sense so let's cut this at five and then if we put this on here like that and then put it on here like this all right so we have that one and then let me do this one let me just make sure this is five and a quarter. Yep, so I need to cut it at five. 
<clears throat> okay, now this is where you can decide do you want, you know, to go around it with Distress Ink or if you just like them plain or if you want to hit it with some uh, silver or gold. So, I don't know. Maybe let's just do... And then I have, I think green would just be, mm, and I don't know if, if red will be, well, let's try. I know if it's that rough, then, well, I know I'm still having to use my little thing. So let's just go around here with some red. Well, I don't know what it's called. I'll look at it again. I forgot. And see, this might just be too, too pinky-ish. But when we put it on there, we'll see. That's the berry, berries. I got crumbs everywhere. <clears throat> okay, so we put that on here. And then we're going to go around here. our festive berry, berries too. You know, you can round the corners if you like, but most greeting cards are just square. They're square. Okay. So we did that. And you know I'm going to stick my finger in that gold. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. We have this. Oh, I need a little more in that corner. I know I gotta find my other little dauber. Like I said, it <coughs> after Christmas, I've got to clean for real. Cause I've you know in here I noticed that I'm missing a couple of stamps. Well, that's because they're in here from last year. So we have that. And I don't know. I'm getting to wonder if I put any rub and buff stuff on there. Some gold that I have. I just think this might be too much red on red, even though it's a pinky color. And I think I'm going to stick. I'm going to go with some gold. So. We're just going to put some some gold around the black just so it's not so harsh whoops harsh I know I need to put some more water in there it's feeling like but I'm just doing lightly around the edges so I'll be okay with the thick creamy texture it is I know if your friends and family know you're a crafter, they expect cards, huh? And let me tell you, I understand it's December 13th or 14th. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Um, I don't even know. I know it's sad. But they might know you have a busy life and that you're a little behind. So, all right, we'll put that up for now. I'm sure I'll stick my finger in there in a minute, but... For now, we're just going to put it on here just so it has just a little bit more. So let's just go ahead and glue this one to here. And if you have one, you know, the double stick tape or the tape machine, you know, if you're a card maker too, then just go for it. Stick it on there. But we're just using our wet glue. Okay, we're centering it, and then I'm going to squish the back. See, I knew I had gold on my finger still. So let me just rub it off on the card. You're not going to see it back there. Ah. I 
Got to make sure I don't use my middle finger when I'm doing. All right, now on here, I wanted to put some of this bright pink. I know, oh my God, yes, some bright pink and some peppermint on here. So let's find the end. There he is. Ooh, that, that's sticky. I might not need any um, glue on here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I might not need any glue on here, but ooh, got to be careful. Because this means business when it goes down, and there's some fuzz on it. Okay, so we're going to put it right against that blue line. And then I'm going to try to... Man, that's some thick stuff. <laughs> Cut on here. Which I did not do it straight. Talk on Candace. You know, and I've already pressed this, so it's just going to have to to be there. We'll have to cover it with a little sentiment. Card makers use their straight blade in red uh, a, a, a edge to um. Oops to do that and to make some noise to wake you up just in case you was sleeping okay and now I have these little peppermints that I'm going to run down the middle just because you know there's some there's black and the pinks and reds I thought it would tie into there so let's cut that off straight now this I am going to need some glue on because it's just regular washi We're just going to run it down the middle so our our pink shows on the side. And this is what I was talking about. Crafters use this <laughs> in their ruler to get, and you don't push hard, just enough to cut your washi straight. <laughs> but I was, I was laxing. So there, I mean, that's just, that's cute, huh? So we're going to put it on here. And if you want, you can always pop it up with some foam dots behind it, but we're making them flat. I know I should have got my double stick, um, my tape runner out. He hasn't been used in forever. He probably wonders, what, what did I do wrong? Um, I don't know. I really should get it out and use it. Okay, I can see that wasn't flat. Okay. So we have that. Whoops, I got some gushing out. No, we can't have no gushing. So there's that little card, and then we're just going to put a sentiment on there in a little bit. Oh, I still, I, gosh. I still see gushing up top that I missed. So we're just going to set that aside for now. And that is our top, top folding card. Can you even see that from there? Yeah. But so it's going to set like that. And like I said, we're going to put a little sentiment on it in a little bit. We're going to do our card bases first. I got to take my vest off. Woo! Is it too hot? All right. So next, we're going to do this this one oops that way because we're gonna have our card like this and we're gonna do this like that and I'm thinking I'm gonna trim an eighth of an inch off of this backer so we're gonna make it three and seven eighths by five and an eighth just so it's a little thinner and not so bold and you get more of the background in there more of the back card okay so and I wanted to do I know but just because of this little blue here I wanted to run this little purple on here so let's let's do that and we're I think I'm just going to 
I'm just going to distress around here. Or should I do silver? No. Ooh, man. I'm warm. Let's just use regular. I know all these stamps are in my way. <laughs> I should have just stamped a bunch of sentiments first, but I wasn't sure which ones I needed. So I don't know if you're not an inker, you do not need to do this. Just have it plain. But y'all know, ugh, I have very strong issues. <laughs> All right, and we're just going to go ahead and blend this one in. And, you know, if you're given these cards, you know, sending these cards to a junk journaler, then, let me see. Always make sure you have your card going the right way. You can always take and turn this into a pocket on the side. Let's just go ahead and do it. And we'll make sure we send this to somebody for one of their ho-hos. So we're just going to cut a little thing on there so that way we know that there's a pocket on there. So we'll have that like this, and you'll see that, and we'll get a, a little journal card and put behind there. So we have that, and if you wanted to, I know I'm trying to decide, yep, I should have put this on there and um, punched my hole at the same time, because we're going to make it a double one. I mean, let's just go for the, you know, for, hit the home run out there. That way we have that much black all around there. Okay, so now i got to make sure that I only glue around there. So let's glue around the edges before I accidentally glue the whole thing down. So this would be fun, a fun Christmas card to send to somebody who is a junk journaler so you can oh you know get it on there straight without getting glue everywhere that's the preferred way <laughs> but use that paper towel and wipe it off so it can dry oh Candace 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 okay so we have that we made a pocket and then I'm gonna stick it on there again before I since I want a double pocket or else I'll forget. I'll glue that bad boy right down. Okay. So. Let's just put that on there. And then they can take this. And put it. In their journal. As a flip out. Over the page. All that good stuff. So, you know, if you want to go a step further, you could decorate the back too, but who knows? All right, now I'm going to put my little, my little purple washi on here. Um, yeah, I just want to do the little purple. Okay, so let's just put a little glue on there so it stays and then find it. There he is. Okay, but I do need to, oh, that's not straight. Okay, straighten my edge. Come on. And just put it on here. And then we'll take our craft knife and cut away not you know you don't push hard just gentle so like you're like you're touching the baby pat the baby just to get that little curve in on the pocket and see I mean who'd have thought 
purple and silver hologram um, stripes would go. But it's really pretty. And then, well, I mean, you can always put a pocket in a pocket in there since we've making it one of those. But here's here's the card so it stands up regular and then we'll be able to tuck some some surprises in there. So we're just going to put that aside because we did that one. All right. Now. Yuck. Okay. I'm going to lose this before it's over with. So then, I, you know, I mean, we're working with these for now. I have another one, but we're just seeing what we can get out of here. So I have the same thing on here. I have, this is some red scrap that I had. So I just need to cut this down to, I believe it was five. Um, let me do I want all that red around there and the answers, yeah. So I need to cut it down to five. All right, so let's cut this down to five. And this is gonna go on here. And I have, whoo, this candy stripe to go down there. So I think I'm just going to, I know, all of y'all are always like, why don't you use other colors? Because I'm one of those people who like Distress Ink. I mean, let's see. What, who am I going to put you on anyway? Oh, am I going this way with you first? I have that, and I guess we might just stick them on white. Because we're going to, oh, that's pretty. Because we're going to have this going down there. And, you know, I'm trying to, I might not even put anything on here. I know. Alert the police. But I do like that ink, this distress around there. But it is white. But I can do it really gentle. Gentle Candace, just because you know, because <laughs> I can't not. <laughs> it's so faintly on here, you wouldn't even know I did it if you didn't see me. Okay, some of you with those eyes would know. So, I got that, and then this is just obviously when I cut it, my paper had a little edge problem. Okay, now we'll, we'll glue it on there and decide because we're doing this way first. All right, so let's, I don't know. See, now that I'm, I did that one, I'm like, well, should we make them all journal cards? No, we're just going to make a Christmas card, but I, I am going to make the other one the same way too, you know. I know it's I'm I'm just sad, and then you don't even have to get like so precise on the edges because it's just a Christmas card. And okay, I know it's like I can hear y'all. Well, why don't y'all just take that little theory to your journal making? Because you know I have issues, <laughs> and we'll just make sure we squished it on there so it stays. No, we wouldn't want it to lift lift off. And then we'll just put some glue on here and put this on. And let me tell you, when we put that little candy stripe on there, oh, it's going to be so cute. Yoo-hoo, there he is. I don't know which one. There, I got him. I got it the first try. Okay, so let's put some glue down here. So we can put our... Washi tape down here. And if you don't have washi tape, use some, some of your scraps. Just trim them down to the width that you need them. And use your scrap papers and and make your little paper washies. Nobody says you have to have washi washi. But boy, if you got if you got washi washi, you got a lot of washi, so this is a great way to use washi. 
my glue. And I know this is just a hair hanging over because I can see it. So I need to trim it. <laughs> All right, so let's put this up. Oh, see how that is just simple, but so cute. Okay, I know. <laughs> I'm coughing on it. <laughs> I'm coughing some ink around the edges. And that's just in case whoever touches it had dirty hands. They wouldn't feel so bad because it already has lightly ink on there. <laughs> but oh my gosh, isn't that just a cute little Christmas card? And then we're going to put a sentiment on it. And I'm trying to get that little piece I cut. There we go. And my little glue out of the way. Oh. You know, and of course, we might have to put some some um, drops on there, too. Hmm. All right, so then I had that one. Um, and we have, oh, where's my other red one? Here, well, here he is. Okay, then there's this one. I, I just picked, even though I like that stripe, I have this one just because of this red back there. So, let's cut him down to five. I mean, this is just a way to knock out some cards with with the scraps that you have. You know, your larger scraps. And you know it. I'm inking around here, and I'm not being gentle. I'm being lightweight. <laughs> oh, I'm crumbing. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and I'm going to put this washi on just because, you know, this is red, you know, even though I like, I like the candy stripe. I hope he's going this way. I know, do I want to do candy stripe? Oh. That's going to be pretty too. It's got white on there too. So let's just let's just go with it. <laughs> There'll be time for more candy striping. Let's just use this and get it on here. And I think I want the gold more of the gold down to the bottom. Trim it off. That one's even. Oh, and then we'll stick him. Well, oh, isn't that gonna be pretty? I know. I can hear you. God, Candace, just shut up and do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love paper. trying to decide if I want to make this a a little surprise you know which technically been you know for journal people be that way but like I said I think I'm gonna and then I'm just gonna line it up so I can punch on the side so my so I'll be even I'm not gonna hold it the right way and then we're gonna Well, who says I have to? Candace, Candace says you got to be in the middle. Oh, oh, let's let's just. Oh my God, I did it! I did it lopsided. <laughs> I know y'all know that. Oh, deep breath, Candace. Deep breath. It's gonna be okay. Oh, it's gonna be all right. Oh, I can't believe I did it. Okay, let's glue it on, so I can just you know. Have a silent panic attack. Oh my god, can y'all believe I did that? Oh, I see I can't even go I can't glue straight. I gotta put my my hand down to get a straight edge. I can't glue up in the air in an imaginary driving lane. Alright. 
And let's put our card on there and have a little tucky thing. All right, so there's that. And then I know we're going to go around the edge here. I know, I'm, you know what I'm getting ready to do, huh? I'm going around with this radiant red, which is actually more of a pink. Oop, radiant. Radiant needs a little water in there. So let me, woo, see, I can't, I can't ever get a drop. Now I gotta be real careful because this is gonna get out of out of hand. I might need to put some more in there because it's really drying up. But see how how wet it gets. I'm just gonna go around the edge with a little iridescent red rub and buff. Well, it's metallic luster, but I I like. I grew up on rub and buff. My Nana used Rub and Buff, so that's why everything's called Rub and Buff to me, if you're wondering why. She was always that, or something else. She always had got this pure 24 karat gold in this little bitty glass vial because she always did ceramics. And so, like at Christmas time, she'd always put, you know, the real gold on the nativity um, people. One day when I, I need to get my nativity set out, maybe next year, and show you. We don't dare decorate much around here, especially with the Fergie. Alright, so, I did that. You know, let's go ahead and do the back too because that way it can match when it's in your journal. And the back's not going to be so even Steven. extra red on there. Alright, now let's close it up. See if I can get this off my finger. I know I might have to wet it so I can get it off because this red will go everywhere. It's like fingernail polish. <laughs> but it's just water. It's not even anything else. But you know, I will have that everywhere. And I might need a I should have used my, my crappy paper towel for that. Oh, I think I used him for the stink bug. Okay, so that looks all dry. And then we'll put this back there. And I don't know, it might be a little too white for me. Just because this is not so white. Just need to go around and put a little bit of a little bit of tan color on there. Needed a little spray tan. Alright. And then we'll just stick it on here. And we'll have another little <clears throat> I know see I've already lost my, my my Christmas scraper but I can find this because it has color on it but I'm supposed to be able to find my there he is <coughs> that because he's so bright but it gets lost so there there's that and like I said it's gonna make a pretty 
pretty addition to somebody's journal. They're journaling. All right, so next, I know you got the hang of it, but we're just going to go ahead and make these. Like I said, that red is just, oh, here comes John. All right, so I have this one left. I think that's all, all of that one. One, two, three, four, yeah, five of them. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and cut it off at five. And then, who am I using? Oh, this one. So let's just go ahead and, and make a side tucky for it. I know, I don't, I don't like it on the cream. And I think the brown's too brown. Yuck. Okay, let me, let me grab one of these out of here. I got a burgundy wine, a burgundy card. This is 110 pounds, so he's a little thick. And I think I will trim down the back on it. Hold on. I know I'm trying to put this back in there. Alright, so let me trim this down. <sighs> Fergie! To three and seven eighths. Man, I got red rub and buff even over here. That's because I set that card down to dry. And it dried on my my cut my little my little my little cut guillotine. All right, so, oh, we're going this way though, Candace. So we're just gonna have a little back there. And I'm not even, oh, see? And I'm gonna put this on here. So let me just gently go around. Just so there's a little definition there, not much. You know, and then the brown ties into the, the little golden wreath and the stems on the, you know, so there's always a reason behind doing it. <laughs> but they look pretty without. I just, 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 uh-huh. I'm an Inca, what can I say? And then we'll Put a little glue down here so we can run our washi down here. Whoops, timber. Oh, run it into the thing. And we'll just put it on here. And let's see if I can do it this way. Just butt it up against there. Oops. I ended up trimming some of my card. That's why I do it the other way. Jake's wow. And then we'll put it on here. I know, but I'm gonna do it. A, I'm going to do it as a thingy because you know it's going. It's going to a crafter. a journaler and they know what to do with it okay so we have that let's stick them on Okay, so since I only have 13 minutes left, let me go ahead and do the next round, um, the next little ones, which are going to be these. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them and trim them to go on to there, and then I'll just show you because it's the same thing. I'm going to take some different washies and put on here and put them on um, either 
Ooh. I know, I'm like, that doesn't even need much, huh? Just some, I wish I had a darker brown. But I'm going to have to look. I'm going to find some scrap mat that I have, trim it down, put it in, and put them on here. And then I'll come back and show you. Because, you know, all of these need to be that way since they're dangling. I know. Because I said so. And then we might put our pocket on that side. I don't know. Okay, so I will be right back. Let me glue this on here, and then let me get those other ones done, and then we'll come back, and I'll I'll get some some sentiment stamps so we can just you know look and see and put them on there. So I'll be right back in a, in a in a few. Oops, sorry. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. I know I did my other things, but then I I, I went down the road. So. I have this blue backing to go on this white card. I had this extra Christmas tree piece that we had from, you know, other stuff, more scraps. And so I thought I needed to make another card. And then I got two other ones that I found with some other scraps that was sitting around. And I was like, oh my God. But. These are great in case, you know, somebody sends you something and you know they're a crafter and you're like, oh, I gotta, I gotta make something real quick. What do I have? I just have some scraps. Well, you just scrap it up and fill it up with some stuff. I know. You can put another tag in there, a little pocket and tag. So obviously this might be a part two thing, two parts in here because... I still have to stamp all the little sentiments that I'm going to put on there. I haven't done that yet. Um, and then I'm going to have to come back and show you what I did. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, okay, let me just ink around here. I know, I'm going to get my finger dirty again. I should have did this one last. This is what I had. I had it sitting, and I had all my parts and pieces. Well, I have my other ones over there. And But I had to use these cards that I had, you know, cut and made. Because I didn't want any more scraps. So anyway, I know it's a vicious cycle. This set, this scrap game. But I got, I got plenty more. And like I said, after I do my other parts, I will have to, um, we'll do a part two because you know, so I can put all my sentiments and other things to it, so you can see what I ended up doing. But I'm gonna. Since these things that I have, these are some spare circles that I splattered and have the gold on. Um, I need to go ahead and put some gold around the uh, envelope. I, I know I can't just have that gold. So, yep. And then this other little splatter shimmer thing. So, oh. Let's go ahead and get our finger in the in the gold and just put some around the edge because it needs it. And I'm thinking about putting a little thing about putting a little water in here <laughs> so I could just not have to rub so much. I just have to swipe. Oh, I got a drop. Oh man, that was good. That's because I wasn't. Hurrying. Oh, I should have put some more in my red before I closed it up since it was starting to look like the Grand Canyon there. Oh, all right. That way I can just do one, one quick sweep and have it on here. And I think I'm going to put a little around the blue too. Oh, well that one got a little heavy, but well, that's why it's handmade, huh? Yep. Woo, look at that gold on that navy blue. Oh, yeah, yeah. So pretty. Close it up. Oh, that was 
from a washi that did. Oh, wait until y'all see what I changed my mind in midstream on those other ones. Is this still wet? Yes, I can stamp enough to get this gold off. I just don't want to spread it. Well, it's not damp enough. <laughs> I need to I need to dampen my thing a little more. Oh, see? See how that water just makes that stuff spread? And I should have took a swig while I was there, but I didn't. All right. Okay, so I'm still going to go on the line. Well, we're just going to make this a regular card. I have a couple that are just plain Jane cards. Okay, maybe three. <laughs> but we'll still do some other stuff on the inside. So let's just put this on here. Then I gotta go upstairs and do my wifely duties and do dinner. All right. I know there's not much of that white showing back there, just some some gold, which is fine because I mean, I know. Let me use my square one so I can get in there and squish the glue down good. All right. Ow. Stab me. And then we'll attach this one to it. I mean, just that little bit of blue and that gold. Ooh, yeah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. They look good. Good enough to eat. Alright, then I'm putting this down here, the little sparkly blue people driving to visit their family because they love their family. Um, where did I just have that? Right there on top of there, okay. Don't go over there. Okay, and then we'll I'm gonna put it right here, right here, and we'll just cut the edge. Yeah, at lunch I went up there, had my lunch, and was gonna and watch one of my little murder shows. Well, by God, if I didn't fall asleep at the very end, so. I don't even know who killed her. Ah! Oh well. Dogs fell asleep with me too, so. I mean, I only got, it was only like 12 minutes. So it was the very, I mean, I knew they were getting, you know, getting in on the person and everything. And I mean, next thing I know, phew, next show's on. I was like, oh my gosh, better get downstairs and, and do my thing. Okay, so now I'm just putting these on here with our little snowflakes just for a cute little card. Ow, ow, ow. Like I said, I have these. I might as well use them. Don't want to cover my trees up that, that much though, so we can cover that one and maybe that one and then all the rest are showing. Okay, I'm all right. So, ooh, but anyway, it kind of looks like a good tombstone, <laughs> but the other ones show, so you know what it is. Where'd it go? Oh, I moved it. And then this one. And I'm wondering, I know I had the other, another snowflake on here, but it looked too much like that snowflake, but it was bigger than this one. And does it matter if they're the same? No, but I do like them. I just, this is too small for my circle. So. Oh, wrong one. We already smushed that one down. So let's do that. And then we'll just 
hit this a little bit. Smack it. I've been a bad girl. All right. Put that snowflake on in here. This one on here. And isn't that a sweet little scrap card? I mean, all this stuff's just laying around. I like how that turned out. Oh, that's cute. And then we'll put a little. I don't know. It might not even get a sentiment. It says December 25th, and then inside we might just do a happy holidays thing. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I want to take my gold um, gel pen and... draw a little gold line right here. I mean, these gel pens, I'm telling you, they're they're temperamental. They work when they want to. Sometimes you got to light them with your match to get them. Or you just pull out the other one and see if it's deciding it's going to work. Because, you know, they come in a pack of, like, three or something. I mean, granted, they're old. No. And here's another one. <laughs> so, out of three, we should get... Oh, crap. Where's my lighter? I know, I'm running out of time. <sighs> Usually that'll pull out the, get the ink going again. Alright, there's that one. And let's come over here and do this one. And then like I said, we'll have to do a part two. So we can um, finish them up and do the other one because I'm about to run out of time. I've wasted a whole hour. I know, but I'm, we made a bunch. And then that's just going to, oh, sparkle. Okay. So let's put him, put all these back in there. Oh, I write all over my seat. It, it works when you want to write on your skin. Heathens. <laughs> oh, and then let's just do a quick uh, bouncing, a, a quick little flip on these. Let me see what I got. 52 minutes. I got two minutes. Jeez. Okay, so there's this one we just did. Cute. I know. And then here's one of those that I um, use like a burgundy, light burgundy, and then and then put um, just plain washi tape across the middle of there. So there's that one. Then we have, oh, I'm like, where's all the other ones? I found them. Oh, my gosh, I'm wasting time. I can't, get, I can't even grab my things. Okay. And then there's this one that we did. We did that one. And then we did this one that we turned into a double tuck spot. Because, you know, I decided that I was going to get crafty on here. This one. That we put a little gold around a double tuck spot. This one that we put that purple silver. I know, isn't that? It's really pretty in person. And then this one that we did our flash of pink. Let's see if you can see it. Oh yeah, the hot pink. And then the um, peppermints on the inside. And then I have these that are sitting underneath the blocks that I had drying that I did with um, that one. So I went ahead and and made it so it'd be a double pocket. So that way, where's my, oh, there he is. That way it could, it could still be an over-the-edge floating pocket with the paper clip on there. I, I mean, hello. Yeah, so I just made these crafty. And I left them hairy because, you know, I thought, oh, I got, I got a card from somebody and um, 
and I know they're a crafter, they're a journal, we still have to put our sentiments, but they like hairy things. So I had a couple of these made, so I was like, oh snap, I need to send them something. So we're just going to send these little things, and then this one, I, you know, I sewed on top of this one, and then it's a double pocket, but honestly, I forgot to sew this one, so that's why it has a hole punch in there. And then this one is a double pocket too, and we got two other ones, hold on. Or can I not count? No, I can't count. <laughs> and, and there's this one. Oh my gosh. And here and here. So those are all the ones that we made. <coughs> excuse me. With the scraps from that we had from the other scraps that we did. And then I have two other cards that we'll do on part two um, that, you know, are just small scraps. But I ran out of time. So... I will see y'all in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me move you over here. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I said, uh, it's just a, oh snap, I need a quick gift for someone who's a, a journal maker. Or I need just a Christmas card for somebody. And like I said, we got to put the sentiments on there. And of course, I'll, I'll, we'll be putting some dots and fingernail polishes and all that good stuff on there. All right. So I'll see y'all in the next one because I've gone over. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of time with me. Thanks for all your love. Thanks for all your support. Thanks um, for subscribing and watching. And don't forget, I, I think we did this. We're still doing, still doing ho-ho. I know I'm behind. I got a pick, but you know, anyway, I got lost yesterday. So I will see y'all later. Um, lots of kisses, lots of love. Y'all have a great day. Bless day. Bye guys.